You're watching WMAR 2 News. Hi, I'm Ashley James. The second suspect has been arrested in connection to a murder that happened earlier this year in Baltimore County. On Tuesday, police arrested 23-year-old Darian Dixon in connection with the murder of Arnold Burr II. Police say back on January 15th, Burr drove with a friend to an apartment building on South Bell Grove Road in Catonsville. They met Dixon and another man at the entrance of the building, and that's when a fight broke out. Burr was shot and killed. 19-year-old Tristan Wilson was the first suspect arrested. Both he and Darian Dixon now face charges of first-degree murder. Restaurants in Baltimore want to make sure people can still dine outside comfortably as the weather gets cooler. City officials plan to introduce a program on temporary heating for outdoor seating areas. Councilman Eric Costello released a preview of what's to come on his Facebook page. Some of the rules include putting heating devices at a safe distance from any flammable items like umbrellas. The co-owner of Wicked Sisters restaurant in Hampton says he's just about ready. Actually, how was going through it? Like, I think we're good on all, all fronts. Like, it would be great to have a fire pit out here, but obviously that's not going to work. The city also recommends using propane fueled heating devices. Mayor Jack Young has a news conference scheduled for 10 o'clock this morning to talk about COVID-19. It's not clear yet if the situation with restaurants in the city will be brought up at that news conference. Now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Wednesday, everyone. On this Wednesday, we have a watched decreasing clouds take place across the area. So we're left with plenty of sunshine as the day goes on. We're also watching for a weekend cool down. As we go through the rest of today, we are going to experience lower humidity as well. And that trend is going to stick around for a while. But in the meantime, out the door and through the day, we are definitely going to be dealing with below average temperatures. And we have the muggies on the lower side today into tomorrow and beyond. The future cast not picking up on a whole lot anymore for today as we will see plenty of sunshine and then we will we'll start to see some changes in the forecast. That seven day forecast brings the chance for some showers back into the forecast on Friday. But before then, temperatures will be at 70 degrees for today, 72 on Thursday, and then another cold front comes through, brings some showers on Friday and much cooler temperatures by Saturday and Sunday. Ashley. All right, thanks, Lynette. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR 2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ashley James. This WMAR 2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.